<laughs> Dr. Barkey here, author of uh, multiple, but of course, the latest morning message, uh, a great book. And uh, I absolutely love it. In fact, you could open it up almost on a daily basis and read one of his many morning messages. You can go to morningmessage.com to learn more. And I uh, find Dr. Barkey also on Instagram, R-X-F-O-R Liberty. Dr. Barkey, uh, I thought this week would be uh, uh, interesting to ask you uh, something related to energy drinks. You know, a lot of people are energized this week. I mean, the Super Bowl is worldwide, lots of hype. Um, I've noticed even growing up when I was, you know, maybe 30 years ago when energy drinks really became kind of a thing, you, you know, Red Bull and all those companies came out and uh, they made even alcoholic beverages out of it, a Red Bull and vodka, this and that. And at a certain point, um, I was like, you know, this probably isn't health healthy, especially it, it makes your heart beat a little faster than it sh probably should. I feel like people are starting their days off drinking energy drinks more so than even coffee now. What's your opinion, first off, on energy drinks? Well, listen, there's a lot of things we put into our bodies that aren't healthy, and energy drinks is but one of them. The problem with energy drinks is the combination of caffeine and usually sugar, in addition to artificial and sometimes natural ingredients and flavorings. That's really the problem, is it's, it's a liquid that should be looked at as more of a treat, not as a staple of your diet. And do they give you energy? Well, they have various forms of caffeine in it that can stimulate you to wake you up. Uh, but there lies the problem as well. So it can cause elevated blood pressure, uh, heart arrhythmias, palpitations, etc. And many of them contain uh, quite a load of caffeine. A typical cup of coffee might be 100 milligrams of caffeine. And some of these energy drinks will double that amount. Mm. And if you're young and otherwise healthy, maybe you can tolerate it. But generally speaking, they should be avoided, not just because of the caffeine, but many of them have tons of sugar and artificial flavorings and dyes. There are energy drinks out there that are sugar free, but I'm not a fan of the artificial sweeteners as well. I don't think they're healthy for you. They disrupt gut um, uh, bacteria. Uh, they just simply are not good for you with these artificial sweeteners. So listen, I'm not... I'm not a prude. I think if you drink a Red Bull or a Monster <laughs> once in a while, whatever. Uh, but I don't think they should be part of your routine daily consumption. 